Welcome to my channel, my name is Steve, and today I'm going to be talking about why I closed my profitable game console repair business. If you haven't seen my first video on this topic, you may want to watch that first, as the rest of this video will make more sense. I'll put that link down in the description below if you'd like to watch that, and then come back here and watch this one. I want to give you just a short history of this game console repair business. I basically started it in my garage, moved up to a 300 square foot space, then a 1600 square foot space, and then on from there. I've not taken on any debt with this business, so everything I make is basically just pure profit. Within the first couple years of starting the business, I grew it to $180,000 a year in gross revenue. Now, not long after that, I hired an employee, we moved to a larger space, and obviously expenses got to be larger. One thing that you always have to remember when you're talking about business is gross versus net income. In 2017, my gross income was 127,000, but my net income, the amount that I got after all expenses was 30,000. The reason this changed so much from the year before of having a gross of 180,000 is because of much higher rent, I moved into a much larger space, and I also had an employee that I was paying. Now in 2018, my gross revenue was 157,000, but my net income was only 20,000. The reason for that is because I hired a contractor to do some of the work as I was getting swamped between the repairs and my YouTube channel. We also moved to a new location and we also bought a commercial building to house the business. This also included some new expenses such as new equipment for the YouTube channel as well as repairs on the building and making the building more of a business space that worked for my business. So while 157,000 in gross revenue is pretty good, 20,000 in net income is not quite enough for the amount of work I was putting into this business. In 2019, however, that all changed. My gross revenue was $257,000 and my net income was $110,000. What changed, you might ask? YouTube. Now, I've been making videos for my YouTube channel since 2015, but I was never really super consistent. All of my energy, almost all of my energy, was put into focusing on the repair business. Now, I grew the repair business to a pretty good size, but unfortunately, as it grew larger, more and more expenses kept showing up, like employees and then a subcontractor and stuff like that, and that really increased the expenses of the business. I started my main YouTube channel, Tronix Fix, back in 2015, and I was never really that consistent in uploading, but as I did upload more, I started to grow an audience a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. But in 2019 is when my channel really started taking off. I had been starting to post pretty regularly in 2018, so my audience got larger and I started getting some good traction. Now in 2019, I made some YouTube videos that happened to go viral, at least for my channel. They got several million views, and those videos really gave my channel some huge exposure. If you know anything about YouTube, depending on how you make your videos, the profit margin on YouTube can be very good. And that's the case with my channel. Now, even though we did move the business and actually bought our own commercial building that was larger than what we were renting, we moved to a part of the state that is a more rural part of the state and housing and building prices are not nearly as expensive as where we were before. So we actually saved a lot of money in rent. We were paying about 1600 per month for a 1600 square foot space approximately. And now we have a 2400 square foot building and we're only paying $900 a month. And the advantage is it's a commercial building and we do own it. So we can basically do whatever we want with the building. Now, as I started looking at the financials and the taxes and all the numbers of the business, it didn't take long to realize that I just couldn't keep running the repair business when YouTube was doing so well. One of the things I believe in is that repair matters. And while I always like to repair devices for other people, that's why I started my repair business. If I can reach even more people, then of course I'm gonna want to go that route. And my YouTube channel reaches literally millions of people and it also makes more money while doing that. And so to me, it was a no brainer to just go full time on YouTube. When I was thinking about this though, I was thinking, what am I gonna do with the business? I don't just wanna shut it down, it's valuable for people. Luckily for me, the contractor that I had been working with decided he wanted to start his own business, so I helped him start his own game console repair business nearby so I could still be sort of a part of the repair business and then I could help someone else do something very similar to what I did and that is start a business while they're trying to be a stay-at-home dad and help bring in money 
for the family. And one of the main things that I want to bring out here, other than just giving you, my audience, an update on my repair business, is that you always have to be paying attention to the numbers of your business, and you always have to be trying to improve. I started the YouTube channel because I wanted to bring in some extra income and not just rely on repairs to be the only thing bringing in income. I looked at YouTube as a separate part of the business, but it was all part of the business, and I started learning more and more about YouTube, how to make better videos, and how to get better at YouTube. Now, while my repair business was growing, then my YouTube channel also started growing as well. When I looked at the numbers and looked at how much time I was spending versus how much money was coming in and how many people I was affecting, it was a no-brainer to go with YouTube. That's something that you should be thinking about too, not only the numbers of your business, but also diversifying because you never know what could be right around the corner if you learn more about your business. So if you have a business now or you're looking to start a business, be sure to be thinking all aspects of it and try and think about different ways you can bring in more income doing the same business. If you have any questions about me or my business or YouTube channel, or if you're looking for any help or advice, be sure to leave all of your questions and comments down in the comment section below as I do go down there and try to answer as many as I can. Let me know what other topics you wanna to hear me talk about. Thank you for hanging out today and I hope you have a good one.